What's up YouTube? Welcome back to another episode. Today's episode is a special one. I'll be showing you guys how to install a $90 Canadian intake off of Amazon on a B8S4. Oh hey Hackdog, how you doing buddy? Would you like to review? Yeah? Okay. Oh, oh, okay. I think what he's trying to say is he wants to go for a spin. So let's go for a spin and see if it really makes a difference installing these intakes. The engine on these cars, if you're not familiar, it's a 3 liter supercharged V6. But Audi likes to call it V6T, which never made sense. Just a disclaimer, I didn't add this intake for any horsepower gains. It's just an experiment I wanted to do. Comparing the sound to, you know, reputable brands, I did review a B8.5 S4 not too long ago. That thing had a CTS turbo intake and it blew my mind. So I just wanted to see if I can replicate some of that noise by not spending too much. Because if it doesn't work, well, Amazon, you're getting a return. Let us know in the comment section what you guys think. Is it a good sounding intake for $90? Or is it better to just get a $500 intake? Let's get into the video because Hackdog here is getting a little impatient and I will show you guys how I achieved this. So if you guys haven't watched our spark plug video, these are the same steps that we did to get to those. actually fits. Moment of truth.
So this here is the stock air box with the air filter, the cover, and the tubing. I'm not running a heat shield. I've taken the air box out and I'll be doing some daily logs to see if there is a lot of heat soap with this air intake. What I did was I just picked up this free stainless steel pipe to add length so I can have the filter sitting close to the air scoop, cleaned it up from the inside, sanded it down a little bit so there's no metal shavings or anything. And once it was fully dry with no oil and water, I just used it to add some length to the air intake. Now, the list of parts that I bought. Now here's the breather filter off Amazon. So this pipe, the tubing, and the filter are the only, uh, I guess, the silicone coupling here are the only things that came in the intake kit with the with the clamps so as you can see I added some length I will change this to a three inch pipe so that it's the same and probably change this coupling out and uh, the other thing that I bought is the HPS coupling because they do make some good stuff this line is three by eight inches and the stock one is a quarter inch so you have to buy a hose barb that basically goes from three eighths to a quarter inch this is just to test it out and you know drive it like a couple of days to see if it really makes a difference That's it for today's episode, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys next week. Hackman and Hackdog, out.